What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bonnie and this is my channel where I talk about all things lifestyle and DIY. So if you're interested in either of those, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on those notifications. But today I'm so excited to share with you guys my little DIY project that I have been working on for several weeks now. I made over our back patio and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Some of the inspiration honestly came from Target. So I was scrolling through Pinterest as I always do and looking for inspiration on what I wanted my back patio to look like. And I was going back and forth with colors. I really loved the marigold color. If you guys have seen the uh, toy room makeover, I did a like goldish yellow orange tone for that makeover. And then the living room had a emerald green or like a hunter green color to it too. And I really liked that as well. But I was going back and forth between those two colors and blush pink. And blush pink I don't have in any of my rooms yet. I might have it in either the guest bedroom or the master bedroom. But since I didn't have it in any of the rooms that I have made over yet, I decided to go with blush pink. So this is what the back patio looked like before anything happened to it. I had a sectional that I built from our previous home that made it through the trip to Hawaii. So I'm really excited, but unfortunately our back patio concrete area was too small for it to fit. So the front half or one half of it is in the front yard and then the other half that is missing an arm because it's a sectional was in the backyard. So I wanted to recreate that or reconstruct it in order to fit in the back patio. And I could have easily added an arm to it, but I just felt like I needed more seating options. So I went ahead and I did something fun to it. Other things that I knew that the back patio needed were some curtains. So we don't back up to a neighbor or anything like that, but we have two neighbors on the side. One which we share a direct fence with, the other one not so much, but they are just across the way. And I felt like I needed a little more security that's not the word, a little more privacy and an enclosed space to make it feel more comfy and homey. And so I wanted curtains. The other thing I wanted for sure were lights and I knew I had to have lights. So I had some lights, but I got rid of them because they were glass bulbs and they broke every time one fell. Actually one broke when I just plugged it in. So kind of dangerous, but I purchased some new shatterproof lights for the back patio as well. And I'll share that with you guys too. Another thing that I wanted for the back patio was a new coffee table. So when I originally built this sectional, I built a matching coffee table with it, but I feel like I grew out of that style because it was very matchy matchy and a little bit rustic slash two farmhouse for me, I guess. So I wanted something a little, I just wanted something new. So I sold that coffee table and I was on the hunt for several weeks for the perfect coffee table to replace it. And I'm pretty sure you guys will agree with me that I found the best coffee table that I could find for this space. Other things that I wanted for this coffee table as far as decor, I wanted to bring in some plants or bring out some, bring, bring plants into this space. So I'm definitely not a plant mom. I can keep my two kids alive just fine, but plants, we don't get along. So I wanted to try and incorporate real plants into my outdoor living space because I figured, well, they'll be outside, it rains a lot, the humidity is high. Let me try and see if I can keep some plants alive. So I went to a nursery and I got some plants that were supposedly easy to take care of, um, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. If you guys aren't following my Instagram, I do share daily stories with you guys on there. So make sure you click the link down below to follow me on Instagram. So back to the plants, I did need a solution on how I was going to incorporate them as far as where they were going to be placed or how to hang them. So I did a DIY project for that as well. And I've always loved having a fire pit, but I don't think that I'm allowed to have a fire pit in the enclosed space for our back patio because it's super close to the house. So I wanted to somehow incorporate the warmth of a fire pit, but not necessarily the amount it takes up or how big it is. So I did a DIY project for a fire bowl to incorporate into the back patio too. Okay, okay, I am done talking about all of the DIY projects because I can just show you guys. So if you wanna see the backyard patio makeover, just keep watching. So the first 
first thing that we're gonna talk about are the curtains. So I purchased these curtain rod brackets off of Amazon. I didn't like the silver color and they were cheaper than the gold ones. So I purchased the silver ones and I just spray painted them gold. If you know me, then you know that I'm not really a silver type person. I really love gold. I've always loved gold. So I just decided to incorporate it for the accessories for the outdoor patio. So the spray paint that I'm using is vintage gold. I love this one because it's kind of a brighter gold color versus pure gold, which is another one that I've used. And that one's almost like a grayish gold to me. So vintage gold is definitely your go-to gold if you want like a true, true gold color. Now let's talk about the curtain rods. So I had a 12 foot space that I needed to do a curtain rod for and it was between a PVC pipe and a wooden dowel. Well, I couldn't find a wooden dowel at Lowe's or Home Depot, so I decided to go with a PVC pipe and it was cheaper anyways. So I think it ended up being under $10 for a 10 foot pole of a PVC pipe. So I purchased two of those. So notice how I said 10 foot pole, right? But earlier I said the wall was 12 feet. Yeah, I made a miscalculation. So I had to use the leftover from the other side of the curtain rod and attach it with electrical tape, which I then replaced with a PVC fitting that attaches two PVC pipes together. I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but it's like a little connector piece and you can get it pretty much at any hardware store. I then took some white spray paint and I covered up the wording on the PVC pipe. I wasn't too worried about it being full coverage because it was just gonna be covered up by the curtain anyways. For the curtain, I purchased this nine by 12 drop cloth from Amazon. I purchased two of them. One 12 foot was gonna go across the longest way and the other 12 foot I was gonna cut so it could go on the shorter wall. I've never used canvas for a curtain before, but I know a lot of people who do in home decor, and I figured since it was durable and washable that it would be great for outside. So this is a really easy no-sew DIY project if you're looking to use canvas drop cloth for a curtain. I decided to use my hot glue gun to sew a pocket so that the curtain rod can go through it. And honestly, I didn't measure how long or how wide the pocket should be. I just kind of guesstimated and hoped for the best. Since the PVC pipe is a little bendable, I did have to add a middle bracket to hold up the middle part of the rod. And this is what it looks like after the curtains are put up. I'm already loving how intimate the setting looks just because of these curtains. Now let's talk about lighting. So I always loved string lights and I knew I needed to incorporate them into the back patio somehow. They just bring a sense of warmth, I guess. I don't know the word that I'm looking for, but at night, I just love the look of string lights. So I had two posts that I've already had. I made them in our previous home and then we brought them here. So I needed a third one in order to string the lights all the way across our backyard versus just underneath the covered patio area. So the old ones are gray with a silver bucket and I didn't really like the look of that and it wasn't gonna match the new decor that I wanted. So I went ahead and I changed the color of those. So I started off by sanding off all of the stain. This was outdoor weatherproof stain that I used on it, so it held up really well, but it was also super easy to take off.
It's cut it into two pieces instead of keeping it as one. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about these DIY projects since I have shared them previously, but let's go ahead and just touch base on them. So we have the plant ladder that I made, which I really love because it's got a deconstructed look to it. So it brings old into like a new space and I really love it. So it also brings in the warmth and it brings in the plant. So that's something that I definitely think a back patio needs. And that's really all I'm gonna share about that because I do have a separate video. So if you guys wanna see that, just click the link above. The next DIY project that I've shared with you guys previously is this DIY rope ottoman. So I just used a tire, a rope, and a ton, a ton of hot glue with some pink spray paint. And I made an ottoman for super, super cheap. And I'll share that video with you guys above as well as down below in the description box. The fire bowl is also another video that I have up on my channel, but it was super, super easy and it brings in a lot of warmth, literally to the back patio, probably some that we don't even need, but I thought it was super cute to have and I really wanted to incorporate it somehow into this makeover. Finally, we get to talk about probably my most favorite piece of the back patio makeover, and that is this gorgeous table. So unfortunately, this is something that I didn't DIY, but I did find it on the Facebook marketplace, and I'm so glad that I did. So originally, the seller was selling it for $5. I messaged him, and he was like, sorry, somebody's gonna be picking it up. And I was like, super, super bummed out. And then my cousin was like, why don't you just message him again and offer him more money and say that you can pick it up like right now. And normally I don't do that because I hate being that person or I hate receiving those messages from people when I sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace. But I did it anyways, I took the chance and I was like, hey, I will give you $20 if these people end up not being able to pick it up. And he was like, can you come right now? And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely, totally. I'm on my way, I'll be there in 30 minutes because it was on the opposite side of the island. But anyways, moral of the story, sometimes you have to take a chance with the Facebook marketplace and these people don't know you anyways, so what does it really matter? But happiest $20 that I have spent in a really long time. Sorry guys, a lot of this may be repetitive because I did do a lot of individual videos because I was super excited with all of the projects that I had for this back patio that I wanted to share each one with you guys. So if you guys missed it, I also did a DIY mud kitchen, also recommended to me by my cousin. So if you guys wanna see that, click the link above, otherwise down below in the description. Some of the smaller decor items that I pulled into the back patio space include this little planter. It was, I wanna say 14 or $15 from TJ Maxx and it was black originally. So of course I spray painted it gold, the same vintage gold that I did with the hardware. And then I also found these pink pillows from TJ Maxx as well. They are considered indoor pillows. So as long as the weather is good, I will keep them outside. But if it starts storming or raining or anything like that, definitely pull those inside so that they don't get ruined. I think I paid $20 for the set and to me that's definitely a steal. All right guys, here is the full reveal for my back patio makeover. I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. We already have used it quite a lot. I love being able to have a space outside that is an extension to the living space that's inside. We're definitely outdoorsy people, so having a space to be able to enjoy in the backyard or in the comfort of our own home is really nice. A small addition that I did incorporate into the back patio makeover is a projector screen and a projector. Honestly, I'm just so in love with this back patio. It is perfect. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me about anything that I did or anything that I have or bought or anything like that, if you wanna know if my plants are alive, leave it down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.